Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is uh, your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing expanded beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me as well as yourselves and others along the way is greatly appreciated and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you uh are comfortable enough please you know drop me a line or two i love chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's you know about your positive feedback of the content of the video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is very informative to you or just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow impact they're going through some trying times and really need validation or confirmation towards their you know what their life journey or purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support that you've been giving me as well as yourself is greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today um, this video is uh, this meditation is really you know powerful it's called super intelligence memory music improved memory concentration study music and I will post that link in the description box below you know sometimes with me my mind is like bad like really bad like I still smoke and I'm just like gosh I don't even smoke I haven't smoked I'm in close going close to six months so you know I'm just like I should be able to remember but I guess our minds manifest so much in our uploads and down you know downloads and upgrades it's just you know going so fast it's you know make us wipe out stuff unless it's something very important but anyways, uh, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's, this generation will break the cords of the karmatic cycle and the generational curse. It is. I said because it's like so much stuff we've been going through this year. <laughs> through this year. It's just been so crazy. And there are so many people I've gravitated towards that I've, I've talked to on one-on-ones. We could be sitting up here. Even, you know, I can feel the energy from just y'all. Uh, just in your words or even energies coming towards me you're tired you're so mentally and emotionally drained that, that's another instance just to tell you where you just getting tired of doing the things that you do you know the world needs our love it, love we the world needs our positive influence our positive energy but it's like we have done these things for so long over and over and over and over again because we were never able to fulfill our destiny our mission finish the mission we were supposed to so many millenniums ago so they give us these different times where our recycled souls are going through the same things because you start remembering it's like people you're connecting with some of them you feel comfortable with some of them you feel like you, you they, they can fit a part in your life where you say, oh my gosh, do you know this person, this person, that person? It's just like so many signs is coming towards you that you're they're entering people's lives for a reason. Anytime I feel like so comfortable towards people, there are some people I'm kind of skittish with. Like I don't really want to talk about certain things, you know, because don't worry about judgment or how you're going to think of me, but it's just certain things I don't want to talk about. Now, if I know if I don't mesh well with you, then it's just like, you were supposed to be in my karmic circle just for me to be able to end cut that court with you because I, you know, we did it for so long. There's people who are coming in your life to where you needed not a debt to settle, but basically they added, you know, dark times in your life and you needed to heal from that and you had to let go of them because you probably went through this many millenniums ago with that person as well. So it's just like so many things we are going through. We are getting hit, and especially right now. Back then, in those days, they didn't have all the technology they have now. They don't. We're we're able to have a philosophy, but all these different things we are learning about ourselves, uh, things that are transmuting towards us. Um, so many things, the visions, the synchronicities that we're having is a lot more powerful than it for it is now for it to be now than it was many millenniums ago 
And it's just so many things had to have happened, had to be able to be cleared out, had to be able to, people being set example, you know, people are being awakened at certain times, tragic things had to go on through our lives for us to know this is going to be this generation. I can't say it's going to be this year. I would hope it is, but you know, this is going to be the generation that is going to be able to cut that stuff and say, no, we ain't going to keep going through this. You know, and the other people, if they want to keep going through that, you have you have met, you know, you, you had to do what you had to do with that person. And there's some times where we get these mental blocks and where we're trying to get out of a situation and we're not getting out of a situation. But we had to learn the lesson of that situation. Because there's sometimes I'm just like, why, why, why am I still in this situation? Why I got to see the things that I got to see? This is not fair. Why do I have to go around and see things that is really harmful to me? But then I had to see things for what they truly are you know some things can be illusion to you you can't allow things to to trigger you you can't allow things to get to you unless you allow it you know there has to be things that you have to be able to see to get your strength from to know this is not what i want in my life okay this is happening but this is not happening to you if this is what the person wants to keep you know showing you they're just showing you who they really are you have to be able to accept that person for who they are you have to be able to accept things for what they are but you you know you're growing you know you're manifesting you're going to bigger and better places you're not going to allow yourself to keep going through the same bs you've been going through for many years you know we've gone through these things because i know there's times where you have cried and you're just like i'm tired i don't want to do this anymore i guess you have if you've been going for, you know, going through these things for millions of years, you know, it gets frustrating. It gets mentally and emotionally draining, sometimes spiritual draining. But you have to know that this is this is going to be that thing for you. You're going to take that one for the team. You know, people might be talking to you like, girl, what is going on with you? Or, dude, what's going on with you? Are you crazy? Are you okay? You know, people are worried about you. Because <laughs> you don't you don't flip the script so quick. People are worried about you because you're not doing things like you used to. You're not allowing things to upset you the way they were. You're being able to focus on things that is going to, you know, benefit your life in a better way. You know, if they want to go ahead and do that, allow them to keep doing that. But, you you know, I'm about to cut them cords because it's like, you know, we got to be renegades. We got to be the, you know, the Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome type folks, you know where you know there's things y'all told me and i said there is no way in hell i would have been able to live through something like that but it's like your journey is your journey my journey is my journey because i can tell you my situation there is probably things you probably wouldn't have been able to live with or condone or whatever but that's where our strength is being able to match with and it's like no 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 person's situation is worse than the other person because it's all handled the way it's supposed to be handled but with us being those those you know those super soldiers that have went through so many traumas and you know we're we're that we're that emulent of uh of you're that mascot of the things that you have conquered the things that you didn't allow to get to you you know that has went on in your life you know we pick the people that we are family with you know because it's like why do we have these narcissistic people that are in our life why do we have these social sociopaths why do we have these uh, uh psychopaths all these people need healing the most because they are so broken you know with us we're broken as well you know narcissists we're broken but when you can be able to say you're not gonna i'm not gonna allow you to push the, your darkness on me i'm not gonna allow you to do these things to me I'm not going to allow you to hurt me anymore. When you start doing these things and you're letting them see, like, look, whatever you do is what you do. You know, you know you need to heal from this, but, you know, narcissists and all of them, they will not see fault in the things that they do. But, you know, that's growth. That's maturity. When you can see the things that has fell, in, fell as a fault in your life that you're trying so hard to not avoid or act like it didn't happen but you want to be able to heal let go knowing what can this benefit in your life from holding on to it but what can it benefit in your life to let go of it that's what counts being able to heal from the things that is meant sent to break us being able to see things for what they truly are and knowing you know yes at times we feel stuck but the reason there's a reason why we're still stuck because it's because of us it's not because of anybody else but it's because of us because we're allowing things to be 
keep going through that door keep going through that door you keep seeing things oh it's not fair oh i keep going through this the, these things are happening to me these people keep coming at me you know all these different things that we have to be able to when we focus on ourselves try to live the happiest life we can trust me that's a daily thing you have to keep telling yourself you have to be happy if you want to be free you have to be happy you have to be able to let go of these things you have to be able to move on and knowing that things won't happen the way they are but knowing you know these generational curses all these different things are going to bring us back to our life uh, pause for the cause but yeah y'all we're going to be that one that's going to break all this stuff and just, just shut everything down we're going to shut that town down of narcissists we're going to shut the town down of uh psychopaths uh sociopaths all these different things that were sent towards us because darkness had, had to really send stuff towards us we had to pick the people we had to pick so we can be able to heal from all these different things hopefully they'll do their part and do the same thing but we are going to be those ones that's going to go ahead and cut that curse um my time is running out because i got to go pick up my daughter so much love to you i won't be able to give a shout out to this uh video but i hope you're able to resonate with it knowing you know i know you're tired but we're almost through this we've got something coming towards our way that we're going to have to work for but we're going to have to be able to face all the things we got to face in our life first before it can be able to happen so much love to you peace be wild you know know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's somebody out there out there praying for your better days i pray for y'all all the time and i love you from the bottom of my heart much love peace and be wild